Welcome to this tutorial on InLab CAM Software 15. This video explains the configuration options of this software. InLab CAM Software 15 is the production software for the InLab system. This software controls the two production units InLab MCXL and InLab MCX5. The basic setup of the InLab CAM Software 15 corresponds to the setup of the InLab Software 15. Clicking on the orange arrow takes you to the header bar, just as with InLab Software 15. Here you can create, import or export a new job. You can also change to full screen mode here. You can access the software default settings via configurations. It is possible to configure general software parameters, the associated production units and the software settings here. The materials which are to be shown in the software can firstly be configured under Settings. Here, Sirona and Certified Material Partners are specified separately. All other materials are summarized under the category MISC. Unlike the manufacturer categories, the individual material groups are shown here and can be selected. You can also select the blank or block sizes individually. For example, if you are only using the size 14 for dynamic blocks from Vita, you can hide size 10 here. The size 10 block is no longer suggested at later stages and the size 14 block is automatically selected instead. You can also make such individual material selections for other manufacturers. Of course, entire material groups and manufacturers can also be hidden. As a result, these materials are no longer suggested in the material preview. It is recommended to leave MISC in the software as all materials are saved here which are not listed by Serona or the material partners. If you have an MCXL and wish to use it for milling processes, the milling function must be activated. This is deactivated in the software's basic configurations. Please note that not all MCXL mills can be configured for milling. Automatic positioning is activated in the default settings. This means all elements are pre-positioned automatically. This can be switched off manually. The automatic job calculation summarizes the jobs automatically. It can also be set whether the legend of a job is displayed. This is always shown after production. You can also set the legends to be printed automatically. Click on this symbol to set the software language. You can determine the storage location of the CAM software blank database at any time under Folder Database. Please note that you must also select this database in the InLab software. Furthermore, you can choose between the ADA or FDI odontogram. You can manage your production units under machine and instrument configurations. The machines integrated in the software and their status are displayed at first. You can also search the software for new machines should you wish to add additional machines to the network. You can also add mills manually. All machines are updated via the refresh function. Under Instrument Set Configuration, the instrument trays for the InLab MCX5 can be managed. New trays for the InLab MCX5 can be created here. In addition, all instrument trays which have already been created are displayed. These can be edited, for example by replacing burrs. The tools and trays are color-coded according to the materials. The black color index represents an instrument for miscellaneous materials, yellow for zirconium oxide, gray for sintering metal, 
red for PMMA, white for grinding materials and blue for composites. In this example, the material zirconium oxide is selected and the instrument tray designated. Next you can equip the tray. There are six positions available in the machine. Click on the tools to select them and assign them to the positions in the instrument tray. In this case, we selected zirconium oxide burrs in the sizes 2.5, 1.0 and 0.5 to positions 1 to 3. It is recommended to assign the instruments which are used most to the free positions 4 to 6 so that there is a sister tool in the instrument tray for the tools which are used most frequently. Should the first tool become seriously worn, the sister tool can then be accessed. Clicking on OK saves the instrument tray. This tray can then be used for all available machines. New for the InLab Cam software is the fact that the firmware updates are no longer installed on the mills automatically. The corresponding mill must be selected for installation of the firmware update and the downloading of the update is activated via this button. The firmware will then be updated for the respective mill. In this overview field, you will find all the further information on the machine, in this case the InLab MCXL and the IP settings. You also have the option here of changing the MCXL instruments. Moreover, the machine can be calibrated by clicking on this button. You can also make individual settings for the InLab M65. As with the InLab MCXL, all the machine settings can be viewed in this window. You can also change the instruments here. The instrument tray, which is currently in the machine, is firstly shown. To change a tray, select the desired tray in the software and then exchange it manually in the machine. All the service programs are integrated directly in the InLab CAM software and can be called up here. Various service programs can be started here. Spindle maintenance, the automatic cleaning process for the blank holder and the tool holder. In addition, the cleaning position can be selected, which enables optimal manual cleaning of the interior of the machine through pertinent positioning of the spindle. The chuck can be opened here for cleaning. In addition, the water pump and machine suction can be tested. You can set the stacking, model and nesting settings under parameters. Under stacking, you can set whether horizontal connectors are to be used when working with the InLab M6L. In addition, the thickness of the connectors and the distance between the individual restorations can be predefined. Usually, the preset parameters in the software already achieve satisfactory results and do not have to be changed. In the parameters for models, the pin size and pin length for InLab M6L models can be adapted. In this case too, the software's factory settings are normally suitable. In the default settings for nesting in the InLab M6-5, both the number and thickness of the connectors can be set. Furthermore, the width of the projecting margin of blanks and blocks in the InLab M6-5 can also be preset.
Finally, the thickness of the center support can be defined. Thank you very much for your attention. Enjoy working with the InLab CAM software 15.